Hello, my name is Michael Leone. I'm the director of commercial AR VR for Lenovo. And I'm here today to talk about uh, and introduce uh, the world, I guess, to Think Reality. Uh, it's a new brand for Lenovo uh, around not just uh, a hardware brand, but this is actually a solution-based brand. So we have software and a software platform. We have our own augmented reality hardware that we're building. And we also have a whole services and a partner program based around this to build an ecosystem to actually help solve customer problems uh, in this space. So these use cases a lot of times are like a remote expert or remote assist, uh, field maintenance, uh, anything that's really targeting uh, improving efficiencies and, and catching errors uh, in, a, in a corporate enterprise environment, in the enterprise, uh, within industrial environments. Uh, AEC markets and things like that. These are new emerging technologies that we're bringing to the market that allows us to address and have conversations with our customers in a different way. One of the benefits of the software platform is that it's actually hardware agnostic. So we will support uh, other partner and other vendors out there like, like the HoloLens or, or others uh, because this is all about solving customer problems and we're not trying to force them into a specific path with just Lenovo. Uh, we know that that doesn't really solve their problems in the conversations we've had with them. The Think Reality A6, and so that is Lenovo's first hardware AR glasses built specifically for commercial customers and for the enterprise. You probably have seen some other stuff we've done in the past with uh, the Star Wars Jedi Challenge AR devices and some other consumer-based devices, but this is the first time that we've built something purpose-built for the enterprise. Listening to our customers over the last year, finding out exactly what they want from, from a hardware perspective. And this is just the, the tip of the iceberg. So this is the first of, of several in a portfolio that you'll see from us over the next year or so. And we'll also, as I said, we'll be supporting uh, different hardware partners uh, as part of the solution as well. It's a solution-led offering. And Think Reality is, uh, is basically what we're bringing to the table today. And we're, we're excited and, and, and hope that everyone uh, finds it as exciting as we do. The target audience of this from a, a development perspective are really any enterprises that are out there that have gone through their own intelligent transformation phases. So people that are looking for augmented reality and virtual reality to, to enable them to, to create new applications, to, to create more efficient applications for their, their workforce. And ultimately, the, the people who benefit the most are the, the actual workers themselves. So the people in the field, the assembly line workers, the field maintenance workers, who are able to use new technology to help uh, improve their lives, to help them become more efficient and reduce errors. So a worker that's working on a, a, an aircraft could see part of the engine sitting in front of them, and it will be locked in place and allow them to bring up user manuals or, or take apart the engine virtually in a step-by-step -step way instead of having to kind of figure it out themselves. Uh, so it's, it's a supplemental solution that allows you to, to, uh, to work with hardware, fix things, and, and reduce errors. And so you need a certain sensor suite, you need certain algorithms from a computer vision standpoint to allow uh, you to do that. And the A6 includes all of that, uh, that sensor suite and all that capability. One of the, the side benefits about it is it has all of that capability, but it comes in at about 380 grams, which is about half the weight of some of the competitors that are out there on the market. So it allows you to wear it for longer periods of time. And so we built this again for the needs of the enterprise and listened to what some of their, their wish list was. Some of the other competition on the market um, was, were only able to run for maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes at a time. And that, that was good for certain tasks, but it really didn't solve their problem from a production standpoint. And that's really how we designed the hardware.